you guys got someone who is they want you this is something to do with um a reconciliation they want you to think you and someone else is not going to reconcile they want you to think like oh you and that person is never going to reconcile or something like that oh this almost dang i'm disappointed because i couldn't destroy you how i wanted to this almost flew back yeah this person's disappointed because they couldn't destroy you how they wanted to they're mad because they couldn't destroy you and someone else's relationship how they wanted to yeah they want you to feel like oh you need to move on this person you guys are never reconciling get back together healing etc yeah it's because they know this person is on the verge of reconciling with you is what god is telling me that's why they're even doing that some of you guys they want you to feel like oh this person they want you to feel like oh this person's never leaving me they're never leaving me and they're never going to reconcile with you some of you guys this could be a um this could be someone you're reconciling with that's with someone else or something like that. There's somebody else in this energy that's trying to have you doubt in a reconciliation or something like that. Yeah, this is something with your ex. The ex secrets. Could be a love triangle. under pressure caught they're caught yeah this person's caught red-handed secrets exposed surprise shocked they have anxiety right now that you and your ex is gonna reconcile they want you to feel like this this person you're about to reconcile with they want you to feel like oh they don't want you or something like that they don't want you no more they don't they're not interested in you no more you need to move on Mm-hmm. God said watch. Just watch. Watch. They're not going to see something coming. Just watch. Just watch and wait. Yeah, soulmates. Lightning. Yeah. Yeah, talking. Some of you guys, yeah, you and your soulmate could be talking. This person you're reconciling with could be talking or you're getting ready to talk. They are interested in you. Yeah, whoever that is is sad they're sad they want you to feel sad they're hurt interested conversing more awaiting messages arrive text call email hoovering your ex is still interested in you you guys are this is a situation where you guys are both still interested in each other yeah god said i don't know what's going on in their mind yeah soulmates lightning something is about to happen there may be some unexpected communication getting ready to happen from a soulmate or from your ex. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contracts, lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Yeah. Wow, split the deck. Twin flames and soulmates. Yep, definitely a twin flame. Ooh, yeah, you're about to find something out. They have no um, control over this. Something's about to come out to light. Your twin flame, your soulmate, ex. This ex has been doing, both of you, been doing a lot of ascending, learning, expanding getting woke transcending you guys are preparing for a union or a new phase yeah you and this ex was never supposed to really break up this is someone you've been waiting you've been waiting for a reconciliation for a long time they've been trying to have you in this energy like oh it's never gonna happen though 
This is just around the corner. It's just around the corner. Yeah, this is a narcissist trying to do this to you. Somebody narcissistic. Yeah. The dragonfly. New phase and rekindling. They're hurt. Boundaries and hurts. Your ex is avoiding conversations with whoever this is right now. They're not dealing with whoever that is and someone is upset. Lighthearted and adapt. Finding out and change. Things coming to light and heal. Yeah, you're like, what did I just tell you? You're about to find something out. Narcissist. This is a narcissist. Some narcissist is trying to have you in this energy thinking your ex is not interested in you no more. Yeah, then why'd they have anxiety for it? What's the anxiety about? Because of this new phase. Rekindle, renew, and growth. Someone could have changed their mind. Rise from ashes, Phoenix. Yeah, your relationship is being restored. There's a res resurrection, renewal. God, look, look at me. I'm over here running my mouth. See, that's how you know it's, it's Libra season. Libra season is air. Yeah, I'm over here running my mouth. <laughs> okay, boundaries and hurts. Avoiding conversation. Not dealing. Still upset. I'm, all, I'm always going to run my mouth. I'm always going to be up here speaking truth. I, I don't know how many times I'm going to keep saying it. This is okay. This is for the new subs. This is for the new subscribers. My sun sign, I'm an Aquarius sun sign in the seventh house. I'm always going to be up here running my mouth. Yes, yeah, some situation is coming to an end. Your ex is about to end out a situation with whoever this is, whatever this is. Yeah, some of you guys, they're trying to keep your ex hiding from you or something like that. Something with secrets. Wow, God just told me some of you guys, you guys are about to go to Victoria's Secret. You're about to go shopping at Victoria's Secret or something like that. That or your exes. It's you or your ex. Yeah, you guys are going to be sleeping together. Yeah, you and this ex are about to be sleeping together. Someone's disappointed because they couldn't destroy. Yeah, they couldn't destroy this relationship. Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Lovers is trying to come out. Yeah, the Lovers, Gemini. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yep. Yeah. There's good stuff here for some soulmates, for you and your ex. You guys was just uh, separated, broken up temporarily. You and your ex could be messaging each other or some kind of communication. This could even be telepathic communication for some of you guys. There's something here with communication messages information Gemini yeah there's communication that's happening or coming up don't be fooled by whoever this other person is that's trying to fool you yeah it's over it's over between them the world is completely over What are they hurt for then? Why are they hurt? If you guys are not reconciling, what are they hurt for then? Yeah, because they're trying to fool you. Yeah. Ace of Swords, the fool. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. You guys are about to start a new commitment. Ace of Pentacles. And this is new, fresh energy. The fool, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, you're about to, some of you guys are about to realize something about X or get communication or you guys already been talking. 
Time's up. Time is up. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, reverse. Someone's pissed. Someone's pissed off and scared. Yeah. They're trying to have you guys um, out of alignment. They don't want you guys being involved with each other. Your ex is about to go towards you with a love offer in the Knight of Cups. And this person's about to be pissed. Watch. Just watch and wait. They're in denial, that's why. Why is your ex not talking to this person then? Why are they avoiding conversations with them? What are they upset about? Yep, they're pissed. They feel out of control. Yeah, they're being let go. Four of Pentacles reversed. Some of you, this energy is pissed off over money, a lack of money, lack of stability. They possibly wanted to hold on to this person for money, for property, things. There's some kind of loss now because you and your ex are reconciling, talking, getting back together. Unexpectedly, sudden change, lightning. Shocking surprise watch. They're about to be surprised. Yeah, your ex is about to be, yeah, there's about to be a tower and they're about to be heartbroken. Your ex is just about to disappear on whoever this is. I'm telling you. The tower, Mars, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be a Scorpio, Aries. They're about to be heartbroken and in a lot of pain. They're gonna be they're gonna keep they're gonna be more hurt. The sun reverse. They're trying to hide something from you. Keep something hidden. They're trying to make sure something doesn't come out to light. Yeah, they're feeling sad, feeling down, depressed, trying to create setbacks. They're trying to keep this person binded to them in the aid of swords. Wow, God said cancel, clear, and delete. Cancel, clear, and delete. That just surprised me. I don't, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I don't even talk like that. Dang, God. Cancel, clear, and delete. If this is like a hex, some kind of voodoo they got on this person, a curse, whatever kind of form of magic this is, God said he about to cancel, clear, and delete this. Yeah, and someone's about to be pissed. Your problems are about to be resolved. Ink pot. This person is going to be um, writing you, calling you, communicating with you. Yeah. Cobweb, you're protected. Whatever they're trying to do, you are protected. Boat. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Something with money for some of you guys, an inheritance. You could be going on a boat, buying a boat, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. You and this ex, your soulmate, you guys are about to be celebrating. This other person is just going to be crying. This person that's trying to fool you right now and trying to do magic over you is about to be crying. This could be something with family, tree, affairs with your family. Yeah, there's something here. God's telling me growth. Yeah, there's good. There's going to be growth in your relationship or there's been growth in your relationship. Something with a family. A change for the better and money will be coming to you. Happiness. Yeah. Yeah. You're about to have money. You and this soulmate. Money's coming for you guys. Possibly an inheritance. A change for the better. And you guys are going to be happy. Happiness. Yeah. God said, don't let them discourage you. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to discourage you. 
Some of you, yeah, they want you thinking like, oh, your your waiting is in vain. Whoever this is has not been showering. Yeah, because they're depressed. This person that is trying to convince you or make you think that this person is not trying to reconcile with you, they're not interested in you anymore. They're not they're not taking care of their personal hygiene. Someone says, I need real love in my life. Yeah, this is your soulmate. They're like, I need real love in my life. Salty, spiteful, jealous. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging. There's just no excuse for my behavior. Some of you, they wanted, they wanted you to feel like this ex was leaving you hanging. Some of you guys, they tried to turn someone out, tried to turn them out. I'm ready to go again. They are ready to go again with you, start over. Maybe they're ready to go somewhere with you again. Feeling trapped or restricted. Yeah. God said cancel, clear, and delete net. God said, God said we we cancel and then clear and delete net. It's getting deleted. I've matured since the last time we connected. Something here about a mortgage is here. They matured a lot. This, your ex is about to come back towards you in a whole different energy, like real mature and stuff, stable, smarter, wiser. Yeah, they changed. You're going to be like, dang. Yeah, God, God, God has been helping them. Something or someone is about to arrive. More and more secrets are being revealed to me. Yeah, secrets came out. Your ex is finding out about a lot of secrets. <laughs> God said both of you guys are. Both you and your ex are finding out about secrets, hidden information. You are healing my soul without even realizing it. I totally regret ever putting you through any of this toxicity, babe. I don't want I don't want you lifting a finger. Reunion. Yeah, you guys are about to reunite. That's why this person's panicking. Someone is about to be, yeah, split the deck, look. <laughs> Reunion, soul ties, and anxiety, scared, panicking. Someone's about to be screaming, I'm telling you. There's always like some kind of like, with these karmic energies, I'm always picking up like someone's screaming and stuff. <laughs> split the deck. Karmic. Speaking of. So this is definitely a karmic that is trying to make you think you guys are never reconciling or something like it's just never going to happen <laughs> yeah this is faded fate this is about to happen unexpectedly yeah detour detour divine intervention god is like cancel clear deleting we cancel and clear and deleting this is your fate honey yeah they're like get out of here god's like get out of here yeah, detour. Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Something new is coming into the material world. Some of you guys, it's going to be a lot of money, inheritance, property. Some of you guys, this could be um, something new. This is a, the start of a new commitment. Yeah, they're done. Some of you guys, this is a narcissist trying to do mere magic over you. Done. 
your exit i'm done we're coming together now come together some of you guys are gonna have to go to court first i see something here with court something legal could be a divorce completion lesson learned reconciliation spiritual union soul contract yeah let's see what your ex wants to tell you right now what is their ex that's trying to reconcile with them want to tell them right now benefit of the doubt and soulmate this hit knight of wands reverse lovers energy those two cards they want to give your relationship a chance soulmate you have found your romantic counterpart your ex feels like i found my romantic counterpart i found my soulmate they know you're their soulmate benefit of the doubts maybe they was having doubts about something they manifested the one top of the deck they okay they wanted they wanted your ex thinking you was not their soulmate something's about to balance out somebody you have some kind of memories with someone from the past what else does their ex want to communicate vibration stuck they're about to get out of this stuck energy and there's about to be a fresh start fresh start stuck vibration energy and positivity they could feel you or something like that raise your vibration to attract what you desire stuck block third party silence barriers shift your focus to clear the energy they're possibly stuck yeah they're trying to get out of a situation i feel like i really feel like with this eight of swords someone's been having magic over them a curse a hex some kind of binding magic but it was just all temporary there's about to be a fresh start new opportunity release the past this is your second chance let's see what is this vibration I just heard something like I'm trying to get on your level. This could be an ex that was like at a lower vibration than you. They've been clearing karma. God says they've been clearing karma. Your ex has been trying to like elevate and stuff, ascend, heal, clear past karma. It could be generational karma. So what's wrong with this vibration? Their ex. Oh, it wasn't the right timing. Perfect timing reversed. Law of attraction. This, they feel like they manifested you. Your ex soulmate, they feel like they manifested you. They attracted you into their experience action thought feeling diligence okay when i'm picking up something here like it was the it was a perfect person wrong timing like that kind of situation right person wrong time they was possibly dealing your ex was possibly dealing with misfortune struggle disorder resistance yeah they wasn't ready but now they are yeah they've been getting ready they've been getting ready working on themselves and stuff yeah that's why they're not talking to this other energy that's why they're avoiding conversations with them blocking them out not dealing with them they don't go nowhere with them no more your ex is not going nowhere with this person no more. <laughs> yeah, whoever that is is pissed off about that. 
yeah, actions speak louder than words. They need to wake up and realize. What, what do they think this person is avoiding them for? Why do they think? Yeah, Queen of Wands. This person, your ex, is attracted to you. They still desire you. They want passion with you. Intelligent, exuberant, determined. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Your ex is about to take action on you. Yeah, balance. Things are going to balance out. Yeah. Compromise, self-control, moderation. Could be a Sag, Sagittarius. I'm hearing someone like yelling really very aggressively. They're like, they're not going towards you. <laughs> so just in that kind of energy. They really want you to think, yeah, they are. A king of cups is about to have a renewal with you and they're guarded towards whoever that is. This person that's in love with you. They're guarded towards this person that's trying to have you thinking like this. They see the truth. Everything is exposed. This person is under judgment. They're having a review of their life, the past. They've been self-reflecting. Yeah, you guys are about to have a rebirth of your soul connection, soulmate relationship. You guys are protected. They're getting prepared. This is almost over. It's been a, it's been a long time coming. They've been for a long time, like healing and stuff. Some of you guys, this other energy wanted this person um, have you blocked off for as long as possible? Have your soulmate or your ex guarded towards you forever? And it's not working out like that. Be patient because things are about to balance out. God took over, yeah. This karmic energy is pissed off because God took over. They thought they had power, but God took over. Cancel and clear and delete and whatever magic that is, curse. Hex, binding magic, spells, whatever. God's taking over and balancing the situation out and bringing you guys together in peace and harmony. Patience, yeah, divine timing. They realize whoever that is that they're dealing with is an enemy and they're done. Five of swords, ten of swords, split the deck. What I'm hearing, the karmic, they are, they want somebody to feel like that's not what you're supposed to be doing with your life. Yeah, they have a, a purpose, a destiny with you and someone is frightened and scared. Yeah, readiness. They're scared because this person is getting ready for something with you. A relationship, happiness, preparations, prompt arrangements. They could be getting ready to take you somewhere, somewhere that you guys been before. It could be like a restaurant or something that you guys been to before. Yeah, that could be like your guys' favorite restaurant you guys are about to go to. Frightened, depression, phobia, paranoid, yep. God says they're evil. Your soulmate is dealing with someone that's evil. Frightened readiness. Yeah, there's victory. See, God took over. Six of Wands, magician. All that magic is cancel, clear, delete. The moon. Yeah, they've been doing magic. Yeah, the moon, Six of Cups. They want you, um, yeah, they're trying to scare you. They're trying to create illusions. They're doing magic to make you think you guys are not going to reconcile. You guys won. You got the victory. There's success. Yeah, God, this is God doing this. They don't have no power. It's all God. There's progress to wands. 
Yeah, they're trying to keep this person in the hangs man reverse for as long as possible. Keep them stuck for as long as possible. Drag out an ending. They're stressed out right now. Yeah, they're not they're not hanging out with whoever that is. They're not talking. They're not kicking it. Page of Swords reversed. Three of Cups reversed. Yeah, there's there's something being settled. This is this could be karma. Definitely something with balance here.